And to that South Sudan story, a new round of South Sudan peace talks got underway in Ethiopia with the aim of meeting next week's deadline for the peace deal. The warring factions have rejected parts of the proposed deal but have shown up in Addis Ababa to try to hammer out an agreement by, an August, by the 17th of August deadline, which was expanded by mediation teams. The, the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, IGAD, has been mediating peace talks in South Sudan with a view toward ending the ongoing conflict between forces loyal to President Salva Kiir and rebels allied with his former deputy Riek Machar. In the new talks, parties to the South Sudan peace process will deliberate on the compromise agreement put forward for signing by the 17th of this month by the extended IGAD Plus group of regional and international states and organizations. At the opening of the negotiations, the warring sides expressed wishes for restoration of peace, but accused one another of repeatedly violating ceasefire deals. These are states that the armed rebellion desperately seeks to take over militarily, and in the single-minded pursuit of this objective, the rebellion has caused us the loss of many precious lives among both the civil population and the military on both sides. The question of whether President Salva Kiir is in office legally also cropped up. I would like to bring to the attention of the mediators and the South Sudanese stakeholders that I'm negotiating with a government that has lost its legitimacy as of July 8, 2015. Hence, it cannot continue to claim legit legitimacy to deserve that is special advantage in power sharing. At least 2.2 million South Sudanese have become refugees or been displaced by the conflict. IGAD says South Sudan leaders may face sanctions including an arms embargo and travel bans if the deadline is not met.